So this is a video that I'm doing to give you a little bit of extra insight into how to actually get a good deal on, on Facebook market, Craigslist, offer up. This is not 100% rock solid, everything is always this way, but generally speaking, this is correct. There are, there are always exceptions, so I don't want to have somebody come in and be like, oh, you know, I did, I did it exactly, you know, I got, I got my deal exactly opposite from what you're telling me. Yes, you, you can. Um, but by and large, what I'm about to describe is the way it is. So I, I always see guys like, like Jay's Two Cents, Linus Tech Tips, um, Gamers Nexus to some degree. Whenever these, whenever these, these, uh, these influencer types, tech fluencer types do, do videos that are about how to get good deals, <sighs> They're they're not they're not pointing you in in the right direction. They're pointing you in the safe direction, but they're not pointing you in the, in the right direction if you want the truly good deals. And I've I've gotten some truly good deals over the years. I mean, I pick up several times a year. I will pick up a, a multiple thousand dollar computer for for single digit hundreds of dollars. Um, sometimes it's it's sellers who don't really know what they have. Uh, more often, it's people that just want want whatever it is gone. It's just the way it is. Especially this is the Seattle market I'm in, so it's it's there's a lot of money around here. A lot of people just don't value their their previous purchases in the way that as some other people do. Um, so the way that you get deals, by and large, you're not. You're not going to get, you're not going to see somebody, like a great example, so market value of an RTX 3080 video card. From what I've seen on eBay, that card is worth $450 in today's market, $450 to $500. So let's say you want an RTX 3080. Chances are, whether you go eBay, whether you go local market, chances are you're not going to find somebody that's selling the card for $450 that has it posted for $450 that that's going to um that you're gonna you're gonna message them and say hey you know i'd really like to buy your card maybe if you can get your price down to you know 300 350 dollars that's not going to happen you're that's not how you make how, how you get good deals generally speaking you're not going to take a average below average or slightly above average deal and convert it over to an insane deal Okay, that's that's not how this works. I wish it were because I've gotten fairly good at negotiating tech deals, and but it just doesn't work that way. Um, the uh, the the further off somebody is from the price you want to pay, the less likely that they're ever going to get to that price. Even if they have to lower their price to sell their item, they're 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 going to lower it incrementally, and their item is going to be up for so long that eventually someone's probably going to offer them somewhere close to where that what they actually want for um f for their uh, for their item. So the way that you really get deals, um, and and you'll be able to see this on eBay as well. They are good deals from the start. They are people who post an item. They don't know what they've got. They just want it gone. Maybe it's stolen. Maybe it's, you know, maybe it was the computer they bought for their ex-girlfriend and, and now they're, they're revenge selling. I've seen it all. Um, I, I've seen revenge selling. It does happen. Mm. But uh, you're not going to find... A, a crappy deal and turn it into a good deal. So, so like I picked up, I picked up a 3080 um, on a deal a couple of months ago. It's now in my fourth gaming computer, um, which was going to be just a low end rando build. It's going to be like a 12100F or something. I was going to put like an old 1080 in it, but I got this video card, this 3080 for, uh, I think like $250. Um, the guy had, had, um, had pulled the, the back plate off and done some custom thermal stuff, which the moment that you do anything like that, you you lower your chance of being able to sell because people get a little bit squeamish. It It's, you know. Um, but you have to jump on this stuff. You have to know what you're looking at. You have to know what the item is worth and you have to know that it's a killer deal and you, you need to jump right on it. The best deals out there, the absolute best deals out there, you're gonna have minutes. Maybe I I used to deal with Craigslist where you had seconds. Like like I literally just I had Craigslist in front of me. I always had you know something in front of me with when I was 
working um, when I did it full time with a computer on it, and I got pretty good at it. I was I I the deals that were profitable in my local area, I snagged most of them. I was better at it than other people. Um, they uh, they changed some stuff with Craigslist many, many years ago that made it a little bit harder to uh, to snag in, in, as quickly as I did. But um, so another another thing to keep in mind. So when you when you see these videos largely on on big tech influencers um, uh, YouTubes, one of the biggest things that they will try to pound into your head is you need to find somebody that'll let you test. You need to find somebody that's that's willing to demo. You need to find somebody that's you know, and you, you need to test it. You need to verify. You need to check all the specs. That kind of stuff. No. Um, the people that have the best deals, and, and here's the thing, if, if you can't, so first of all, in order to, to take my advice here, you have to be willing to lose some money. It doesn't happen to me often. Typically, it's it's been a very long time. It's been years since I bought, since I went and picked up a deal that was supposed to be one thing and ended up not being that thing. I don't get screwed a lot. People, it, once you learn how to deal with people, it, they people are generally honest um, to the, to the, for the most part. Um, but the best deals out there, um, especially the ones where it's it's like somebody that has money and they just want their item gone, um, with those kind of deals, they post, you know, let's say um, a good example would be a, uh, I picked up a Dell 38 inch ultra wide about a month ago for a hundred dollars, right? And the guy, the guy posted it and I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't ask him any questions. I knew what it was. It was a Dell U, I think U, U3818 DW. It was a first generation Dell 38 inch ultra, inch ultra wide, but I, it's less than half. I mean, you're, it's pretty hard to find any the, the 30, the 38s always go for insane amounts of money. There's just for some reason, it's a niche screen size. There's not a lot of them and it's just, they, they're expensive. Mm. So a hundred dollars. I just, I messaged the guy. I said, what is, where am I picking this up? I'm coming to get it. Shoot me an address. Where are we meeting? Um, and the thing is these people that post these insane deals, um, they know that their deal is a good deal and they're not going to deal with it, with, with it. You know, if they have, if they have you that's messaging them saying, Hey, you know, I'd love to pick up your item, but you know, I don't have a lot of money and it's kind of a risk for me. And you, you know, I'd like to test it. You, you might get somebody that says, yeah, I'd love to help you out. Come on over. But by and large, if, if that person has, has 10 people and most of them are doing that, and then they have my email where I said, Hey, shoot me your address. I have cash in hand. I'm coming to get it. Who do you think they're going to deal with? I'm going to make their life easy. And yeah, it's a risk. You know, I, I, buy, I buy stuff sight unseen. I think I've bought five RTX 3080s, all five of them sight unseen. All of them were fine. But you, you have to know how to deal with people. Like I, I've, I've had situations where people were planning on screwing me over and then I, I was able to talk to them and figure them out and figure out what was actually going on. Like you have to know how to deal with people or you just, you don't have any business dealing in this market. It's too big of a risk for you. I would say go, in that case, go eBay because eBay has some level of guaranteed protection. Um, and and you'll see the same thing on eBay though. The best deals that you see on eBay are going to be are going to be somebody posts the item. I'm 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 not positive, but I think that's the reason why when you go on eBay every now and then you see an item that just sold and it's usually buy it now and it sold for a fraction of what it's worth. It was the eBay version of the type of deal that I just described. Um so typically one the best deals are the best deals from the start, and you have to get on it fast. That that sometimes means literally, if you're watching for an item, you may have to spend a day or two with a computer in front of you, like nonstop. I mean, some people don't want to do that, but at the price of a good deal, if a good deal is really that, if if it really matters to you that much to get that good of a deal, you you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, the other the other thing number two is the more difficult you make it for the seller the more likely you're not going to get the deal, the more likely I am going to swoop in and pick it up because I'm gonna make the seller's job easy because I want that item because I wanna flip it and make a buck. Um, so I hope you guys find this interesting. Um, like, subscribe, I'm gonna keep doing a lot of this stuff. I have a lot of free time now. I'm, I'm on the road a lot and I have a lot of free time in the hotel that I'm just gonna start cranking out these videos, giving you the, the inside stuff on on uh, on how to 
how to do Craigslist, computer how-to, the whole works. Anyway, thanks for watching.